There's an ancient Indian story that tells about six blind men that go up to an elephant. Now, these people had never come across an elephant before, and so they didn't know what it was. And since they were blind, they had to feel the elephant to figure out what it was like. Now, an elephant is huge, so they all had to start from a different part of the elephant. So one of them felt its side and said, hey, an elephant is like a wall. Another felt the trunk and said, an elephant is like a snake. Someone felt the leg and said, an elephant is like a tree. Someone felt the ear and said, it's like a fan. The man that felt the tusk said, it's like a spear. And finally, the guy that was feeling the tail said, an elephant is like a rope. Now, everyone was saying something different, and so they started to get angry because they thought that the others were lying. So it ends up getting violent, and they all start fighting each other. Humanity is currently in this state when it comes to understanding reality. They're like blind people who are only experiencing a tiny portion of reality, and they're not understanding the big picture. Let's compare the story of the blind man and the elephant to reality as a whole. The elephant is what it is, regardless of what the blind man might be experiencing. The blind man can think whatever they want, but that doesn't change what the elephant actually is. Reality is the same way. It just is what it is, and it doesn't matter what people believe about it or how they interpret it. That doesn't change what reality is in itself. You might have a physicist examining the material part of reality, and they say, ah, reality is material. You might have those in some Eastern religions examining their subjective intuitions, and they might say, ah, reality is nothing. And you could have a psychonaut examining their psychedelic experience, and they might say, reality is a multidimensional hologram. But really, just like the blind men, each person is only understanding a portion of reality, and they're missing the big picture. Worse than that, you also have a multitude of crazy religions that are killing each other over their interpretation. Look, reality just is what it is, regardless of what you think about it. In quantum mechanics, there are a multitude of different interpretations that are incompatible with each other, like the Copenhagen interpretation and pilot wave theory. Heisenberg, one of the founders of quantum physics, said, we have to remember that what we observe is not nature in itself, but nature exposed to our method of questioning. The philosopher Kant thought that true reality, reality in itself, was forever locked away and that we could never know it. However, the philosopher Hegel realized that reality in itself is locked away from the finite human perspective. That is, the faculty of the mind that puts things into separate boxes and categorizes things. But that reality in itself is completely accessible to reason, because reason can view reality as it is from the big picture perspective. Humans typically think in pieces, parts, and sections. And reality in itself cannot be understood like this. It can only be understood through reason, which sees things from an absolute unified perspective. Instead of looking at each individual puzzle piece by itself and separate from the others, reason allows you to pull back and see all the pieces all at once and how they fit together. The only way to understand reality in itself is to go beyond the senses, intuitions, and feelings, and to use reason. The senses and intuitive experiences are only ever going to give you an interpretation of reality, a fractured piece of reality. They will never tell you what it is in itself. Only reason can transcend these finite subjective viewpoints and get at the essence of reality. Hyperionism is a system of reason, and it's able to access the big picture of reality. It can answer all the big questions in life, such as what reality is, what its purpose is, and what happens when you die. It also realizes that the particular contingent details of reality are still waiting to be figured out, and that we should explore, learn, and grow together to find them out without killing each other. 
Hyperionism is a rationalist system, and thus it transcends, incorporates, sublates these fractured viewpoints within itself as partial moments of a greater whole. It synthesizes, knits together, corrects, and unifies all these viewpoints into a cohesive system. Hegel correctly realized that reality is reason coming to know itself through a multiplicity of viewpoints. This means that we are reality. We are the universe. We are the universe coming to know itself through individual subjectivities. We are that which the universe uses to explore itself as itself. Hyperians know this, not through the flawed human senses or intuitive experiences, but through reason as expressed by mathematics. Hyperionism is a rationalist, deductive mathematical system. As Hyperians, we say, we are reality, coming to know itself through a multiplicity of subjectivities. The physical world is just a small expression of a greater immaterial mathematical reality, which is a multidimensional mathematical system that all balances and comes together to perfect nothing as described by Zero. As you can see, we weave together, sublate, and transform all the fractured viewpoints into a complete whole. We can do this as we have understood the mathematical nature of reality. We know the foundation, the ground, the essence of reality. We are the universe, but it is in an unconscious state, and it comes to consciousness through us as we come to understand what the universe is. This is why evolution eventually produces individuals that question what they are and what the universe is. This is not an accident, but a necessary moment in a logical system of unfoldment and self-knowledge. We are individual expressions of the universal whole coming to know itself. This is an intelligible universe, and there exists an answer as to what it is and the universe generates beings with the ability to come to these answers. The answer must be arrived at through reason, through mathematics. Anytime you try to come to that answer through the senses or intuitive experience or anything else, you're getting a fractured, mediated viewpoint. You're like one of the blind men examining only part of the elephant. Reason allows you to take off the blindfold and to examine everything as a whole. Mathematics is objectively true for everyone at all times. 2 plus 2 equals 4 was true yesterday, it's true now, and it will be true in the future. It's true here, and it's true everywhere in the universe. There is no place or time that mathematics does not apply. In fact, place and time are only possible because of mathematics. Try to imagine a reality in which rational rules don't apply. It's impossible because that sort of reality would instantly collapse because it's inherently unstable. Something can only be stable if it follows a pattern, and mathematics is pattern. See, when we say that reality is mathematical, it doesn't mean that the symbols that we write down on paper are floating around somewhere. It means that this reality is based on perfect mathematical patterns. To be precise, sine and cosine waves, as defined by Euler's formula, the mind equation. These mathematical waves interact with each other to form patterns of greater and greater complexity. Reality is mathematical. There is nothing that is not mathematical. You yourself are a mathematical being. This means that this is an interconnected, holistic system. It just doesn't seem that way to you because your human senses are mathematical functions themselves, and their job is to filter, fracture, and section off portions of mathematical information and this is facilitated by Fourier mathematics. They evolved this way to help you to survive by allowing you to focus on the material world. But the good news is, is that you can bypass the distorted view of the human senses, and you can have direct access to the underlying mathematical frequency domain. By rationally understanding this domain, you can get a perfect view of the big picture of reality. 
These mathematical waves that underlie reality are not physical, they're immaterial. This means that you can't do sensory experiments on them. To think that you can is to have a fractured materialist view and you aren't understanding what we're trying to communicate. But this doesn't mean that you have to have faith or believe in miracles or adopt any kind of irrational religious mindset. Hyperionism is completely opposed to all these things. You can have absolute knowledge of this through logic, reason, and mathematics. You have to realize that the big picture answer to existence exists right now and it rests firmly on sound, certain mathematical laws. We know what the universe is, what you are, and what happens when you die. And you can too. You just have to transcend the limited viewpoint of the human senses and embrace logic, reason, and mathematics. We all have to get on the same page, the rational page, so that people will stop killing each other. Mathematics shows the overarching, necessary, absolute answer to existence, and it recognizes that we have to cooperate in harmony together without killing each other to work out the contingent particular details. We're a group of free thinkers, philosophers, artists, and mathematicians here to bring you out of this dark age of ignorance and bloodshed and into the truth of your mathematical existence. My name is Morg. Herald of the new Hyperion Age, Ad Astra, to the stars. Make sure you like and subscribe, and check out my Patreon for hidden videos. When taken together as a whole, since everything has its opposite, everything has its counterpart, it collapses into nothingness. Everything that we're experiencing right now are just small, fractured, splintered pieces of nothingness, of void. The reason why it seems like something to you is because you're just seeing a small piece of it, a small portion, a small sam uh, sample, a small section. And because you're seeing a small section of void, it seems like something. But if you were able to see it all together. If you enjoy my work and you want to see our movement grow, then consider joining us on Patreon. Now, for everyone there already, you guys are awesome, and it's amazing getting to know everyone there. Thank you for your support, my friends.